Can't that Kansas State team at, 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 at one point in the year, we were looking at them going, ooh, that Big 12 might go through them. As it turns out, Colorado, waiting to get to them. Mm-hmm. Utah's decimated by injury and came off a holy war loss that, I mean, if they got beat today by a thousand, I would have said, well, yeah. As it is, it wasn't that bad, but this Colorado team, how the, you, what futures you, you got the wrong future for the Heisman, I think, because Hunter is good. Any play Hunter has is going to be like, look at this. And he made a sick catch. He got an interception, but it's off a tip. And then he got a touchdown. That's a fun one, but it's like kind of garbage time late. And all of it just adds on to this incredibly awesome player that we love. But now any kind of highlight play is, and he fired up the Desmond, which Desmond did it against Ohio State, which is a little different deal. But I get it. Everybody, I mean, do your Heisman. Genty did it too. I'm not picking on him. Uh, I just think of all the impressive things Colorado's done today was, uh, of course, you're going to win and win easy because Utah's toast and you're ascending, but it's just another log on that Colorado fire, Steve. No doubt. Uh, I'm so glad you brought him up. Um, went over to our guy at a head dog's house to watch the noon games. And, uh, you know, Coach we, Donnan? Oh, yeah. Block the email. The best. Love him. And, what a great man. Yep. Called me right after the game. How about them dogs? He's still doing his live stream for Georgia games. Uh, I, can't, I cannot say enough about that man i'll i'll touch on at the at the end before we go but we're sitting there okay. watching uh we got colorado on you know he's got he coach got the setup man split screen colorado in uh texas arkansas on the tvs uh pitt and clemson on the lower one and i just said coach man i i i know what you thought of getting recruiting like he was in it man go back and look at at the guys he had he had two he had two gold jackets tonight get honored at the georgia game that he coached at georgia and richard seymour and champ bailey and that's that that's a couple of the georgia legends anyway but we're just watching i'm like these skill guys man that Colorado now that they could firm it up up front and give shador time and then that catch, like we rewound it six times. The catch by Hunter down by the goal line, Scott. His Nuts. his his feet are are six seven feet off the ground, and he's still going up to catch the ball. Like it's 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 yeah. it's, it's insanity what this kid is athletically, and then. He comes to Penn State for game day. You get a couple minutes to talk with him. An incredible kid. What'd you do on your bye week? Oh, I went fishing. Oh, yeah. I went fishing. I, I just want to go fishing. Like, like it. It's just. It's that good. And then Shador. I, I'm in the tank for Shador. I've talked about it for for months. I feel like yep. to see what he went through last year, and. I'll admit, like, I questioned Dion, like, why are you putting your son in this circumstance where, I mean, there was a Washington State game. I think it was a Friday night. They're getting beat to beat to hell, and he's still out there yeah, they did. getting sacked, getting hit. And for that kid to keep getting up, uh, starts the game today with a pick. Uh, I, I'm astounded by him because w- when he's been beaten and tattered and hit, he gets up, and only Dion's son could get up and always look so pretty. And he is so darn good. I, I mean, the resilience that he has and the way, you know, you, you see the interview after the game with with uh, Shador and Travis, like, they're the best team in that conference. It's, it, it's not close, in my opinion. And then to see that scene, to be there for that scene last year, and the idea uh-huh. that they might get a home game, like that's that's some that that I I, I don't I, like there. We spent so much time talking about them when they weren't this good, and now that they're that good, 
we don't talk about him. And I want to talk about like the X's and O's, Pat Shermer, the guy calling the plays. I, I played for him. I love Pat Shermer. And he's an old school guy. Saban was talking stories about he was at Michigan State with him. Like this is eight in the eighties. He played like Tony Mandrich, you know, head coach of the Giants. Didn't work out. Great offensive coordinator in the NFL. And he just finds himself in Boulder and he's calling plays for these two young superstars. It's the 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 full circle element of it and and the idea of of Dion and and these guys showing out and having this this rise is absolutely awesome and i i wanted i, I wanted to make it a point because i haven't been able to watch them live today and i did that today and it was they exceeded expectations and uh it's a, it's awesome really good i think they play at arrowhead against kansas next week awesome game careful sir jayhawks Look, what do you think? They're, seven they're Daniels in that seven? Kansas. I'm going to get to them in a seven? minute. I'm going to get to them in Ten? a minute. I'm taking them, whatever they are. <laughs> You're giving out Cal. I'm giving out Kansas. I go. gave them over Iowa state on go. the field, gave them against BYU on the field. Yep. I'm going to ride Kansas. It's not a disrespect. I look, I've been wrong on Colorado all year. I'm just, this is a pro Kansas play, but I want to dovetail the can the Colorado points you just made. The thing about Shadur <clears throat> I got to go back. I'm, I really, really, really don't like the idea that anyone who's critical is a hater. I think that's a weak-minded position, and I don't think Deion Sanders is a weak-minded man. He's not. I think saying anyone that's critical is a hater is wrong. There are definitely haters, people that line up to root against that man and his kids because they're haters, and haters are losers, mm -hmm. okay? Losers. I'm not a loser. I was critical of stuff that happened last year. I was critical of going after kids on social media. I thought that was weak. That I'm, I was critical of that. When they lost to Nebraska this year, I was like, eh, that's, they're not, nope, this is not it. And I didn't want to be part of this circus of Colorado again because you said it, Steve. We talked so much about them last year, and they weren't any good. Mm -hmm. They were early, but then we look back and we're like, oh, actually, no, they almost lost to Colorado State yada yada and then it was we're here and then Oregon beat the brakes off him and that sent him in a tailspin and we still talked about him last year because they were raiding well this year all the things that people said or thought they might be last year is is and are happening and Shadur Sanders is going to be a top whatever draft pick and you cannot like him because he's Dion's kid and he's richer than you are and that pisses you off. But that kid got obliterated last year. Mm -hmm. And there's a saying, if you get knocked down, what do you do? Get back up. And that young man kept doing it. And to your point, he kept on being him. Mm -hmm. And I admire that. I admire that. Because that comes from a place of knowing who you are, knowing what your last name is, and knowing what you're supposed to represent. And that guy has balled out. Hunter is nuts. All these Heisman moments, fine. You got something for your video, but you want to know what the Heisman moments are? Playing 100 and some snaps a game and being the best corner on the field and being one of the best pass catcher playmakers on the field. Those are Heisman moments. So all credit to Dion, to Shadur, to Travis and to the Buffs, Sko Buffs. That that you you said it really well. We talked a lot about them last year. They weren't any good. Mm -hmm. We should be talking about them more this year because they are. And they, I think we both believe they're better than BYU. And BYU got beat tonight. It finally happened. Mm -hmm. They were playing with fire, and tonight they got burned. And the play, I don't know if you saw it. It's nuts. Kansas is right in that field goal. Do we go for it? Do we not go for it? Spot, and they snap it to Daniels, and he quick kicks it and it oh, yeah. bounces off a BYU um, return guy. And then a BYU guy can't get it. And Kansas pounces on it at the two. They walk it in the next play. They take the lead and then they stiffen inside their own 10 yard line late and turn BYU away. And now Kansas beats them. And so I think it's still BYU didn't have any losses. So I believe it's still trending BYU Colorado yeah. for the big 12 championship game. Yep. 
But Colorado does have to go to Kansas. And so after saying all these things that I mean about Colorado, I'd also say to them, in offering all this praise, also a word of caution, this Kansas team is is playing like the team that started the year ranked. All those losses they had are in like one-score games, every single one of them. Um, just a big spot. But you watched them more carefully than I did today, um, and you were, you were impressed by what you saw out of the Buffs. Yeah, I've, and, and this goes back, you know, I, I they're going, like, t- to think about the Baylor game and how close that was to, I believe that would have been their third loss, and th- none of this is possible. But to go back, a no, couple- and Baylor, we watched that. We watched that game, and I, that night Baylor was better for most of yeah. it. Their kicker misses a kick, which leaves the door open mm-hmm. for a for a, a, a hail mary to tie them, and then they win an OT. I mean, but listen, what do good that become great teams do? They figure out how to win close games. Oregon wasn't great tonight. Figured out how to win a close game. Figure it out. Figure it out, and they but, have along the way, and that, and they've gotten better along the way. Clearly, but that's going back to what I try and do is people keep bringing up the Nebraska game. The game was over at halftime, and what I made a point of doing was I watched the second half before I watched the first half. I was at I forgot what game I was at mm. that night, and I wanted to watch the second half, and they're still in it. Defense battled. I don't. I, don't think Nebraska scored an offensive touchdown in the second half. And that's where you make strides, man. Like you're, you're up against it. That place is a zoo. It's an old school rivalry. Those kids have no idea what Nebraska, Colorado used to be, but they're in a yeah. raucous. They up. don't know who Dean Stein killer no. is. No. <laughs> Corey Schlesinger, no clue, but they're in a raucous environment and they, they battled. And then you take steps from there and you move on. Stay in the fight, and, right? Exactly. And you go to UCF and you rip that team's soul out. And if you see what that team has been since Colorado went there. Uh, so I, I, I just, I can't say enough about Shador. Uh, I, I have just wanted to, I watch him every single week, go back and watch it, knowing what I watched last week. And I know Travis Hunter is the best player in the sport, but Shador is the guy that makes that thing go. And uh, he's incredible. He's must-watch TV, and I, I absolutely watch, love watching him.